Good morning. It's Thursday again. And I'm behind schedule again. But what else is due? Welcome from Elaine Fleming. Um, I'm here to continue our course um, on everyday moments from close to my heart. And today I'm doing an envelope layout. Sounds a little weird, but it has envelopes. And you can put envelopes to fill up. It's a sweet little layout. I made a third envelope because I, I like rules of three. But I'm going to show you an idea of how to take your snail mail and turn it into a layout for memories and then get rid of the clutter. Um, I would hate to call my grandchildren's creations clutter. Some of them are so precious, I just want to keep them forever. Some of them are so colorful, it always shows a time in their life. Um, it shows improvement as they grow up more. It shows emotions that they share in the cards they make with you. It shows artistic skill. Um, it also shows their handwriting. Um, it's amazing to see how the handwriting develops over the years when they send you little notes. So yesterday I took snapshots of these treasures and I made them smaller. Here I have a four by six with six little insides of letters. Um, my husband retired recently and he got lots of cards, so I took pictures of his cards. We have some great <laughs> illustrations, beautiful butterfly. And I said, what am I gonna do with all these? So this envelope layout is a great idea. So, because I added an extra envelope, I have a short strip on the side and I still left room for close to a four by six picture. And what I'm putting in this little layout is mail that my granddaughter received. She was so delighted with the stickers. I think she used every single sticker in a day. This was at the beginning of our isolation time. And I decided that it's such a great picture. It's going to be um, shown well. And so I'm going to keep the whole 4x6 size. I also went to Access and I made a couple cut and prints um, of snail mail and even the term snail mail. I thought that would add to this layout. Now, let's see. Can't see my messy desk, but we got pictures all over the place. So when you, I'm only gonna put one piece of double-sided tape behind some of these, because I'm not sure how the layouts go because it's gonna be stacked. But I'm gonna put it tilted, leaving room for another. And I literally am putting one piece of tape on this in case I wanna change it. Now the envelope I will secure a little bit more because I don't got that falling off. So here we have a spot to add pictures and these are basic three by four, so I made a lot of the letters half size, and I'm going to cut them up, put them in. So I can add a letter here, and I'm gonna put a picture on that. I've always already chosen Ollie's birthday letter, so I'm gonna just cut that down a little bit, make it so his name shows. And you can do anything you want with these layouts. So. You're not going to see this layout until next week, finish, but um, last evening I was able to see one of my daughters um, at a 12 foot distance visit, and I thought it would be a fairly short visit, an hour or so, but it ended up to be over three hours, and we just talked and caught up and, and fought the mosquitoes since we don't come inside together, and I'm really, really tired of this isolation bit. 
but I really feel snail mail is a way I connect with my grandkids and family, and so I thought it was important to document that. Now this week, each week I, I put up a little verse in my craft studio, and let's see, I can't read the, the um, reference is John 13, 34. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And I want to remind you that there are people hurting out there. Um, one of our friends from Friendship International um, died last week on Thursday, and I know that Chewan and others are grieving, and the family left behind is grieving. How can we reach out and show these people love? And I think snail mail sometimes helps. So put your thinking caps on, and if we're going to love others as Christ has loved us, Let's figure out how to encourage them. Meanwhile, I want you to um, join me. I probably will finish this layout today. Sorry, it's not finished, but people do have a priority over crafting. Um, I have a Zoom meeting on Thursdays. This is the address. I'll put a link under this video. Please feel free to join me. And I know a couple people are away this week, so it might just be me. But come join me and talk and catch up and maybe craft together, because I think for me, crafting puts a smile on my face, and I want to be an encouragement to you as you go through your days that are very different. So, God bless, work on your snail mail.